like any national resource, um, land, water, energy, uh, minerals, the spectrum, the radio frequency spectrum is a resource countries commercialize and need to protect uh, to support the economy. This is becoming increasingly uh, important as societies and economies are becoming more digital. So this digital transformation is vastly increasing demand for spectrum. Uh, as devices, individuals, homes and businesses become more connected. This was, of course, uh, dramatically amplified by the pandemic as we had a sudden increase and in need for connectivity. Uh, with the new digital norm uh, and with all the trends in ICT, 5G, smart devices, Internet of Things, and more recently, uh, Mark Zuckerberg's so-called metaverse, all existing in this virtual world, uh, which in effect is the frequency spectrum. Our technologies contend for space in a finite spectrum. It has become a resource with extremely high demand. On top of that, the spectrum is not only a resource in itself, it also supports the existence and development of other sectors, like for instance, mining, uh, business, uh, banking and tourism. All depends on technologies and in the connection of these technologies. So yes, because digital world is evolving so rapidly, spectrum monitoring is becoming more critical at the same rate. Uh, as I've mentioned now, the spectrum is a key resource to the fastest growing sector on the planet, the information and communication uh, technology. So tools we need to manage and protect it needs to evolve at the same rate and even faster. Tools need to be cutting edge, they need to be smart and they need to be flexible. Starting at the basic component of the monitoring system, the modern receiver has to adapt. Uh, classic spectrum monitoring still require robust solutions deployed as strategic fixed station, but we also need uh, a new approach. Signal dense urban environments require a collection of smaller sensors deployed as distributed sensor networks. This will give the regulators the ability to scale their operations according to dynamic use of the spectrum and the gathering of data would have to be done in a smarter way. In either case, uh, strategic monitoring or distributed sensor networks will result in massive collection of big data that needs to be centrally processed and it will need to be converted to real intelligence. So measurement is then also only half of the story. This is where spectrum management comes in. And by management, is actually a strong word because this is an intangible resource. It cannot really be controlled. But with the help of smart technologies, things like artificial intelligence, machine learning, we can optimize and regulate the use. Today, an effective spectrum management solution has to be a technology ecosystem that automates certain processes, things like type approvals, license applications, uh, fee calculations, uh, all of these things has to be automated and lead to actionable intelligence so that regulators can support the digital world today, but also plan for tomorrow. Firstly, I believe over the last 20 months, digital transformation hasn't been sustainable and equitable. Uh, COVID-19 speeded up the adoption of digital technology by several years and transformation uh, of the digital landscape uh, was dramatically increased and the adoption has taken quantum leaps since the pandemic hit. So this instantly multiplied the demand for spectrum uh, and regulators and the technologies that they had uh, had to keep up with this. Countries with advanced spectrum management systems were able to adapt easily. But in countries that do not have these sophisticated systems, uh, the digital divide actually just grew. This illustrates very well how spectrum management can and should 
uh, drive digital transformation. Regulators are employed by the government to ensure uh, sustainable and equitable access to the spectrum. Uh, but their ability uh, to do this is only as strong as the management technology they use. This again, because the sheer magnitude of the spectrum and the amount of users it support require advanced technologies. I think it is great that the event could transform itself um, into a digital experience that can be shared across boundaries, borders and countries in spite of the pandemic. Uh, because that is where I think the biggest value of IT world event actually lies. It's a platform that brings disparate entities across the world together to collectively look at global topics. It creates an environment for businesses and industries that usually operate independently to put their minds together to debate and then obviously also to learn from each other. Uh, and this is why Hensel has also been part of the ITU for more than 13 years. Uh, and we are committed to help to connect the world.